Is Hawaii's wine industry suffering a setback? That is what the island's original master sommelier thinks. You have noticed anecdotally uh, trends in alcohol consumption. What are they and what's your concern for wine? Well, I just think with my son, Kale, and you know, 29 to 30 year old, that, that age group, you know, uh, most of his friends like to drink liquor first and foremost, and a distant, distant second is beer, and a very distant third is wine. The question always begs is, we don't do something about it, what's going to happen to wine in 10 years? Wine drinking is never just going to drop off the face of society. I- Probably not, according to alcohol distributor Southern Glaciers Wine and Spirits. Throughout the last couple of years, we, we, we've had a lot of upside downs, and um, you know, there's still a lot of uncertainty in the marketplace right now. Sean says Ferruya has a point. Wine consumption is down lately, but so are all alcohols. Blame COVID. The retail business, you know, has uh, you know worked in one direction, and and there's been growth there, you know, through the pandemic. But on the flip side of that, the restaurants. The hotels, the bars, you know, with limited capacity and shutdowns, um, you know, they, they've had, you know, the most difficult road. And he's optimistic about the future. The good news is things are starting to turn and come back. You know, we're obviously welcoming more visitors to the islands, you know, day by day. And and restaurants are open to full capacity now. and. And all of those things bode well, you know, for the industry as a whole. Faria hears that, but isn't one to say, que sera, sera. We're going to dive into the region of Loire Valley. Right. So what we're going to do is take the world of wine and break it down to major wine growing regions. He co-hosts a podcast with son Kale. They're partners in wine. What can we say? What can we do? What can we show uh, so that it might interest, it might perk interest in someone of his generation to try wines. The two collaborate weekly on new episodes. Aloha everybody, I'm just playing around. I want to make wine fun. Fun and popular again. You might say, where there's a wine, there's a way. Tell me how much that wine is out for you. Sean says he is excited about the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival coming up this fall because that will also provide a boost to the wine industry.